Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a great day so far. And if you're watching this on the day I upload, I'm actually currently in LA at Generation Beauty, which is so super exciting. I'm really excited. And if you want to see my vlogs and my adventures and the different things I'm doing while I'm in LA, definitely check out my vlog channel. I'll be hopefully posting vlogs on there. So definitely check that out and subscribe to that channel if you're interested. And make sure you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all those things to keep up with the different pictures and different things we're doing. So yeah. That's really exciting. I'm also gonna be filming some collabs while I'm there. So yeah, again, just really excited. It's gonna be great. And now let's go ahead and move on to what today's video is actually gonna be, and that is a sick day video. And I've been wanting to make this video for a long time just because I've been wanting to share my tips and tricks and life hacks for you guys for the next time you're sick. And if you are currently sick, I hope you feel better real soon because being sick sucks, I know. But I just wanted to kind of help you guys and do this type of video. So I hope you guys like it. Hopefully it helps you out in the future and let's go ahead and jump into it. So I'm gonna start off with the first category and that is activities to do when you're stuck at home. And it totally sucks when you're stuck at home with something contagious like pink eye or strep throat and you can't go to school, you can't go to work, you're kind of just like bumming around your house, you've watched countless seasons of a TV show on Netflix and you're kind of getting a little like, cooped up in your house and so the things I like to do when this starts to happen to me is I like to put away my laptop and opt for reading a book because I feel like I'm so busy during the regular day that I don't really have time to read a book. I know that's terrible, but I find that I read more when I'm sick and it also is relaxing and it's also a little bit nicer on your eyes than always constantly looking at a TV screen or a computer screen. So I highly recommend picking up a book and just reading that. It's super relaxing and it's really fun. Just get one of those cheesy ones. I'm reading Khloe Kardashian, don't judge me, but it's a really good book and I really enjoy it. So that's kind of tip number one. Another thing you can do when you're sick is do some mindless crafts. And for me personally, I would love to do my planner. I love planning my life, even though you're sick, I like to add stickers and just put different events in there and just kind of make it all pretty. You can totally do whatever you want, scrapbooking, putting pictures in a photo album, really anything or coloring. I think coloring is a good option too if you like that kind of thing. So just any type of mindless craft, mind, not Minecraft, mindless craft, I think is a really good option when you're sick as well. And my last tip is to go for a walk because getting fresh air is gonna make you feel so much better. Trust me, I always do this when I'm sick and it makes me feel so, so much better. Getting a little bit of exercise but it's not too strenuous so you feel good about yourself and you're actually doing something really good for your body. So those are just a few ideas if you are stuck at home when you're sick but let's go ahead and move into the life hacks. I have different categories again for this. I have headaches, stomach aches, runny nose, and a sore throat. So starting off with headaches, I get headaches very frequently. It runs in my family. I just have always Always suffered from headaches. I've had all different types of headaches. I've had regular headaches, migraines, painless migraines. And if you don't know what a painless migraine is, it's where you don't feel any pain, but you see waves. Your whole vision is kind of altered. It's super weird and pain kind of comes after that. And I get them in the weirdest spots, but headaches have always been a problem for me. So I always try and find different things that can help relieve them because Advil can only work so much. And by no means am I a doctor. I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video, but please don't take anything I say Super seriously, these are just wor what works for me and I'm just trying to help you out, but yeah, so not a doctor. So anyways, moving on to headaches, I wanted to give you the first life hack, which is something my mom taught me when I was way younger. And it's basically you take your left hand and then you massage your kind of L shape. So in the crevice of your, between your pointer finger and your thumb, you kind of massage that area. And if you do have a headache, you're gonna feel a tendon in there that's really, really, really sore when you start to rub it. And you basically are kind of getting out the knot there. And for some reason, when you massage your left hand, it connects back to your brain and your head and it totally, totally helps. So this is a really good one if you're in a pinch, if you're at school and you can't leave to relieve your headache or you don't have any Advil on hand, this is a really good one and I use it all the time. It works amazingly. So definitely try it out if you get headaches too. If your headache is super severe, my number one tip would probably be to just sleep in a really dark room. Closing the curtains and closing your eyes is really going to relieve that headache. And again, if you're not able to do that, another good one is to apply a cold compress to the head or kind of forehead area or basically wherever your headache is. Sometimes I get them in the back of my eyes, so I'll put it there. But basically you just want to dampen a cloth and then put it to your head. You can either put it in the freezer, get it cold, 
totally up to you, but I think this one works really well too. Now moving on to stomach aches. I get stomach aches super frequent as well. I'm super unlucky when it comes to this and it always happens in the most inconvenient times and I always have to carry around those like little Pepto-Bismol pill things. They taste pretty good, but it kind of sucks that this always happens. And the first thing I wanted to mention is if you are experiencing quite a large stomach ache problem, try cutting out coffee because that happened to me back in the summer. I was experiencing really bad stomach aches every single day and as soon as I cut out coffee, they kind of went away. So definitely try that. I know it sucks because coffee is amazing, but definitely try that if you are experiencing stomach aches. Another good tip I have is that if I'm in a pinch, I like to rub my stomach. This one probably seems so weird, but it totally relaxes my stomach. I don't know what it is, but it works. And I just sit there and rub my stomach and breathe deeply and I'm good to go. It just kind of like, I don't know. It makes a whole zen to your body and it just really helps. And the last tip I have for stomach aches is actually to do the same thing we did for the headaches but do it on the other hand. So you want to massage your right hand and use your left thumb to kind of massage in that area and that is going to connect back to your stomach for some reason and it helps with your stomach aches. I don't know what the magic is behind body because again, not a doctor, but it totally works. Moving on to the life hacks for sore throats. The first one I have is to drink apple cider vinegar and it, I will warn you, it's pretty disgusting. It's super vinegary, but if you dilute it with water, just do like a little bit, you should be good. And this is going to kill the bacteria in the back of your throat that's making it sore and also loosen up all the, the bad stuff that's back there. So that is tip number one. Tip number two, I don't know how credible this is. I just found it on Pinterest and I thought it was funny. And that is to eat marshmallows when you have a sore throat. I guess I'm assuming because it's super cushiony and good. Don't really know if it has any other benefits to it, but yeah, eat marshmallows. I like marshmallows, I'll try it out. And my last tip for a sore throat is something my mom is always telling me and that is to gargle with salt water. This is seriously the best cure and the most instant cure I find personally from my experiences. But yeah, definitely always gargle with salt water. It'll most likely clear everything up. And the last category I have life hacks for is for a running nose. My first tip is to apply a hot compress to your nasal area. This is again going to loosen everything up and make it easier to blow your nose and just relieve you of that pain. Another little remedy that I have to read off of a paper because I found it online and that is to mix a half cup of lemon juice, one cup of warm water and a pinch of salt and then yeah, you should drink that and it'll help loosen up the mucus. Again, I haven't really tried that one, but it seems pretty bulletproof or foolproof. So definitely try that one out if you are experiencing a runny nose. And the last category I wanted to talk to you guys about today is taking me days or mental health days. And when I was growing up, or m more specifically when I was in high school, I was dancing full time. I was obviously doing all of my high school classes. I was working and I was doing YouTube, just kind of starting YouTube. and. You get so run down, especially when it comes time for exams and performances, especially you just, your body breaks down and you get less sleep and you can end up becoming really, really sick if you don't take time to recover from those things. I had really great parents growing up, so they allowed me, they could basically tell when I needed a day off and they allowed me to stay home from school and just kind of rest and get myself back together because you're not going to perform or you know do as well in all your aspects of your life if your body is run down and you're not treating it well and I also just wanted to say like make sure you do listen to your body when it comes to those things if you do need a day off you know hopefully you can talk to your parents and be like look I need a day off like I just you know I can't handle the stress or I just need a day to get myself back together and I think that is totally and perfectly acceptable because everyone's so busy lately we kind of get caught up in all the things we're doing and we do get run down and we need to listen to our bodies when it comes to that or else we're gonna end up getting sicker and it's just not gonna work in our favor so make sure you're taking care of your body and you're listening to it when it says that you need certain things if you're dehydrated make sure you're drinking water and just do all the things that you can to make sure your body is in the best condition it can be for all the different things you need to be doing I really hope you guys kind of understood what I was getting at there and I just kind of wanted to put that in there in case any of you guys are going through a really stressful time I know that high school and college can be extremely stressful and the first thing I did when I got stressed was break it down and cry and that usually was because of lack of sleep and different things like that which is obviously you can only do so much but just make sure you're listening to your body and you'll be good to go and it'll help out your future self and all that good stuff so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video that pretty much wraps it up I know it was kind of weird and confusing but hopefully you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful in some way I don't know but hopefully and if you guys did like it make sure you give it a thumbs up and I was also thinking about doing this type of video maybe a little bit different on um, the topics of stress in general I know I kind of mentioned it but I want to do a full video on it if you guys would be interested and also a video on like life hacks for when you have your period because we all girls here well mostly 
think like 10% of you are boys, so so and i just thought that i would throw those ideas out there in case you guys would like to see those videos in the future definitely let me know in a comment down below and i think this video has gone on long enough so i will see you guys in my next video have a great day bye